So the main mission of Vibro is to promote uh, neuroscience worldwide and in particular to train young scientists from different regions of the world with a certain emphasis on, on regions where neuroscience is less uh, developed but not exclusively and to create connection between young scientists, young neuroscientists and more established uh, neuroscientists and this occurs through schools that are organized at different levels. There are neuroscience schools for uh, beginners to sensitize young scientists to neuroscience, sometimes in remote areas of the world. Uh, then there are uh, schools that are topical on specific topics that are organized worldwide in the different regions of, uh, of the world. And then there are advanced uh, Ebro schools where really uh, the best uh, ideally the best um, students that uh, participated in the various uh, Hebrew schools uh, actually uh, can reach that level and uh, be uh, part of or participate in high-level schools such as Cold Spring Arbor or Woodsall or other schools in Europe uh, mostly uh, and, uh, and again create a network of uh, these very qualified neuroscientists with uh, more established neuroscientists. I think uh, Ebro plays a, an important role because it's at the same time global. Uh, it uh, is involved in neuroscience activity uh, worldwide, so it's a global organization. But because of its regional uh, nature, it also is a local one. So it can actually uh, be informed, sense what are the needs for each individual region and provide the necessary support which is uh, targeted for these regions. Ebro publishes a journal which uh, actually was one of the first neuroscience journals. Uh, it's published by Elsevier and its title, as most of people know now, I think in the field, is Neuroscience. And this journal uh, is an open forum for neuroscientists from across the world. And at the same time, obviously, it aims at very high quality uh, public uh, articles. So it uh, provides a dual role of being an open forum of very high quality uh, papers. Yeah, the Ebro Congress is a special congress. It uh, takes place every four years in different regions of the world and it's different from the meetings that are uh, prominent in the uh, or playing a prominent role in neuroscience such as the Society for Neuroscience meeting in the US where 35,000 people gather or the European, uh, the FENS, Federation of European Neuroscience Societies or other regional uh, uh, meetings. Actually the strength and the interest of the EBRO meeting is that really people from all over the world meet and it's an opportunity, it's a forum for every neuroscientist in the world to present his or her work. And we have fellowships that support the participation of, of students to uh, and postdocs to these uh, uh, congresses and um, so it has a particular profile and at the same time uh, the science is very high quality there is an international program committee which is very selective in taking uh, in, in, you know decisions in terms of speakers and topics uh, which are at the forefront of neuroscience so it again it plays a dual role of uh, promoting excellence and at the same time providing a forum for neuroscientists worldwide. It's the first time that uh, uh, the Ebro Congress uh, is held in Latin America and uh, uh, it's very appropriate because Latin America has been a very vibrant and active uh, participant to uh, Ebro's activities and neuroscience is very developed in countries like uh, Brazil, Argentina, Chile, just to mention a few. Um, so uh, actually uh, it's, uh, it's, it reflects the contribution of Latin America to neuroscience. It's a unique opportunity for students to meet with students from other countries, uh, postdocs, faculty. It's really a, a, a networking uh, opportunity in addition 
uh, to being an excellent uh, scientific meeting. The program committee has, has put together really a remarkable list of speakers and of symposia which uh, meet the highest uh, standards and the interest from the scientific point of view uh, is certainly uh, quite remarkable. But it has this additional dimension that Ebro is so unique for. Well, of course, uh, Rio is a special place also, and I'm certain that uh, in addition to the scientific um, uh, opportunities and interest that the, the Congress will provide, there are many other uh, opportunities to visit Brazil, which is uh, a fantastic country. Uh, and uh, so I would encourage uh, scientists from other parts of the world to gather in Latin America and take this opportunity to also get to know this uh, beautiful part of the world. Mm -hmm.